Hey folks, Lindsay Holtz with Sports Psychology Solutions back in the building at the Detroit Crystal Ray uh, over in Southwest Detroit with young Satchel Love. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, and you? Good. We were talking a little while ago. You guys are getting ready for the big game between Cleveland and Crystal Ray, that is St. Martin de Porres, and you talked about getting ready for a game. You talked about the importance of sleep to help you with your mental toughness. Why is that important to you? Uh, I feel as if, if I ain't got enough sleep, I might be off of my game. I might just be a little, like, probably just like, I can't get up. I can't mm-hmm. do nothing, really. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's tough, man. How is it to focus on sleep as a young person when so many involved with social media late at night, Fortnite, and all those things? How do you balance that? How do you break away? Uh, it's really a sacrifice for, uh, like, I'm, I didn't miss many parties and all that. Like, I got practice the next morning. I got a game. It's just like, it ain't going to help me in the long run, so I know what I need to do now. That's really focused on your part. Why do you think a lot of athletes don't take that approach? Uh, they live up and, like, they want they want clout. They want to be, like, famous Define and stuff clout. like that. Define clout. I don't know. They just want to be known. They want to be known. So I got to be out and about. You got to see me. What are they throwing? Chest pads in my back, man. I'm going to get you next time. All right. Uh, they want to be known. So how do you balance that? Don't you want to be known, too? Yeah, I do, but I don't want to be known for nothing bad like how they be doing. Oh, I get it. I get it. Another thing you said when we moved the conversation from mental toughness, we went to the other side of the spectrum, mental health, when you talked about, you know, how people really feel about what you're going through. Talk a little bit more about that. Uh, I don't know. It just feels as if everybody think anything you can say is really an excuse for real. Like me, if I tell my coach, like, I ain't going to be at practice today, he, he believe me, he believe me, but not. Like, ah, I messed up. You okay? He probably, he probably most likely believe me, but, like, I know, like, other coaches don't believe they, don't believe they kids. They be like, that's the excuse. Okay. Now, is this, you talking about the relationship you have with Coach Peoples for the most part? Yeah, he, he a good coach. He know I don't be lying to him and all that, but, like, I know for, like, most, most kids I know who hoop, I, like, all my friends who, like, they, they can be injured till they coach, stay injured, the coach don't believe them. Really? Just stuff like that. Like, you just... Some stuff you just don't want to say. So it sounds like a lot of this has to do with the personal relationship you have with the coach. Yeah. But it also has to do with your personal record that clearly you haven't yeah. said you were sick and you weren't. And mm-hmm. if you're saying you're sick, it's a big deal. Yeah. Well, Sasha, you sit here, man. You really have a lot of maturity. I mean, you have a historical name. I mean, my goodness. Uh, and I heard your sister, your twin sister's name is Paige, right? Yeah. It's love. I got to love it. Sasha, love. So um, how does it feel even as a young person? Having a name that's so unique that probably half the people you have to explain the origin of, right? Yeah. But others, when they hear it, they're probably drawn to you a little bit. It's almost like a little celebrity style. Yeah. How does that impact you as a person just trying to find your way? Uh, everybody really asks me that. I really, I really don't know though. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. We're sitting here with Satchel Love. Uh, what is your expectation for the game uh, when you get down with uh, St. Martin de Porres of Cleveland tomorrow? Uh, last year we lost, but it was a it was a hard fought game. So I really think this year is going to be different. We got a new team. We lost a lot of people. We didn't gain a lot of people. Feels if it's going to be a fight. Okay. Uh, any advice you have to other young people out there just going throughout the day, whether they're athletes or not athletes? Anything you want to share to your fellow classmates or whoever it may be? Uh, just push through it. Push through it. Sitting here with Satchel Love, a young man you want to watch. Keep an eye on him and also keep an eye on Detroit Crystal Ray. And if you're part of the Cleveland family, give keep an eye and support St. Martin the Poor's. Man, I appreciate talking to you, okay? Best of luck tomorrow. All right, we'll see Thank you tomorrow. You. Okay, great. We're out of here.